Hello Cancer. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoiche here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person you're connecting with on a romantic level. The person you're wanting to connect with romantically. What is it that they are feeling and thinking towards you currently? This is a general love reading, so it will not resonate for everyone out there. And time is fluid, so this is meant from mid-January to the end of January, but it could have already happened to some of you. It may be happening currently or in the far future. You may go through this. Okay. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sofia Marashinsky. Okay, then we have Crossroads. We have hearth and home. Followed by wisdom. Oops. Wow, feelings and emotions. Then you have death and rebirth. Followed by opening under the bottom of the deck. Okay, Cancer, I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you currently. My dear Cancer, I feel that you are truly a beautiful person. Not only on the outside, but on the inside as well. Your personality, your charm, your charisma, your character. And you have this ability to make me see who I really am. You hold a mirror to my face, to my personality. All of the good things about me and all of the bad things. There is a sense of ecstasy, feeling this emotion where my heart is happy. My heart feels happy and my soul feels happy and content and blissful when I think about you when I'm in the company of you. There are so many things that have happened and I do feel spiritually connected to you. You are so sensual. You have a way of making me melt. Your masculine energy, your feminine energy, it's all so alluring. How your clothes fit your body. It's very attractive. A lot has happened in my life. And 
I have now come to a crossroads. There's a decision that I need to make. I do feel that there's a part of you that is my hearth and home. Wherever you are, that is where home is. There's warmth, nurturing qualities, feeling as though you were like family. So many things you have that I feel so connected to you. I do feel there is this sense of wisdom in this connection now. I have grown wiser. I am not the same person you once knew. There are certain things that I've gone through. I've experienced certain lessons. I have gained wisdom because of mistakes. And the one thing I have realized is I do have feelings and emotions for you. They are very intense and I want to explore that. I want to have a second chance with you because things that have happened between us in the past were not good. I want to open up to you. Open up about things that have happened, things that you don't know about. Secrets that I have kept deep down in my heart and I have not shared them with you. I do want to open up to you and tell you how I feel about certain things and about us. All right, Cancer. Wow. This person has come to the realization. They really have because of the wisdom card. You have so many cards that talk about change. Second chances, making a decision here, crossroads, and opening up. So this person has changed. They might not seem like it, but they are growing on the inside. They're evolving. Now, I have here the Beginner's Tarot deck, similar to the Rider Waite, and, wow, I'll be looking into the intentions, any actions that this person may take, or plans that they have. Not everything is an action, but there has to be an intention. All right, so they do have an intention. They want to reach out to you because they are feeling regretful, remorseful. They find you absolutely irresistible, and there may be an age gap here. Oh yeah, Cancer. What were you dealing with? What kind of a child were you dealing with? This person is so immature. It's ridiculous. Um, there's another card coming up and it's going to freak some of you out. King of Wands. And you have the Queen of Wands. Holy Hannah. <laughs> oh my God. We are dealing with a lot of masculine energy here, people. This is something that is very unique, very rare, that happens. Okay. This is what is happening. Four of Cups. There was an offer here. There was a sense of rejection. 
there was distance. And the person that you were dealing with at the time now is starting to regret all of that. The masculine energy in them is starting to feel that they have to make a change. They can't just sit around and wait for things to happen. They have to do something themselves. They are really regretting what has happened. And they're feeling sad and lonely. They're sulking. Why did this happen to me? Why now? So they're going to try to make a difference. What are they doing? Remember earlier you had the wisdom card down here? With the wisdom card, this talks about somebody who was not wise, somebody who could not understand. But now this person has become wiser. Now they're understanding. Someone who becomes wiser and understanding, it's because they were not wise. They were not understanding before, which also means that they were quite immature. Immature or they were inexperienced in love and relationships. That is why you have the Page of Wands. That is why you have the Page of Swords. This person was a page. And now they have become wiser and now they are a king. Meanwhile, you're sitting here looking all hot and sexy. Queen of Wands. <laughs> they, can't they can't resist you. You are so utterly irresistible. They can't stop thinking about your hotness your sexy body, your ways, your everything about you is just like this person just, they want you so badly. The passion is off the charts here. They do feel that you both are the perfect pair, divine feminine and masculine. They do feel this. Page of Wands, they are going to reach out to you. Definitely there's going to be some passionate message here. And the reason is because they find you absolutely irresistible. Also, they don't want anybody else to be with you. They don't want anyone else to even talk to you. So what they're doing, they are finding out information either online. And if you don't have an online presence, it could be through friends or family. Somehow they want to just know they have this curiosity to see what it is that you are up to. Ultimately, they have now evolved into a king. They also may feel that you are connected to someone and this is holding them back, but they're still falling in love with you despite everything that has happened between the both of you, despite all the responsibilities, all the people that you're taking care of, this person actually is now starting to feel no matter what happens, they're going to be there for you. This is what they're wanting to do. This was very intense, this part. Usually I don't spend so much time on this part. But the message was very strong. Very strong. Very nice. I'm happy that they grow up. <laughs> they grew up. All right. We have here the Lover's Path Tarot. And just because we think someone has grown up doesn't mean that that's the end of it, right? There's never really an end to wisdom. Now, you have here two cards that are popping up, and I'll pull both out. So you have two cards that came out, usually it's just one. Ace of Cups, Seven of Coins, and Queen of Arrow, uh, Queen of Arrows under the bottom of the deck. So I'm going to have a look at Ace of Cups first. With the Ace of Cups, what is happening right now in this person's mind? Why are they not being the type of person that you would like them to be in this connection? These are the reasons. They're literally rejecting others' affections. So if you have tried to shower them with love and affection, they truly have been rejecting it. This is just the way they are. 
This was just their mindset, okay? Everyone's born and brought up in a different way. We all go through different experiences. We all think that we're right. And then we butt heads. We're not on the same page with the other person. This individual thinks, according to their inexperienced ways at the time, that they were right. They're rejection, rejecting another person's feelings. This is them rejecting you. They were creatively blocking certain things in this life in regards to you. And there's a sense of disillusionment with love. Mm. Yeah, they couldn't recognize love. They could not recognize love if it was staring them right in the face because they've never experienced it. Now, what is happening? There is sadness and there is melancholy. Yes, remember you had the Four of Cups. This person is quite sad. So things have changed. And it's because of the sadness that they're starting to become wiser. They're starting to evolve. The Seven of Coins is up next. With the Seven of Coins, we have here a sense of impatience, insecurities about whether the reward received for the work rendered will be worth it or not. All right, so, <clears throat> my goodness, this is exactly what happens when you're with people who are immature. Um, so this person thought that they did as much as they could to make you a happy individual, and they expected something in return. You see, when you love someone, you can't expect anything in return. There is a desire that, hey, if I treated you nice, I do expect you to treat me nice. But you never do it with the intention of getting something in return. Love should be unconditional. It should be just, I'm giving it to you because I love you and that's the end of it. That's truly the way it should be. But it is not wrong for us to expect something in return. The issue here is that, yes, this person was inexperienced, immature, and by them expecting something in return, it seems wrong. Because they never really gave you, they never really reciprocated the way that you gave them love. If they gave you love and if they expected something else, sure, that's a different story. But what I see here is they feel that they have invested in you, their time, their energy, maybe even some money, and they do not see the rewards. They do not see you crawling back to them and saying, hey, take me back because you have helped me so much in my life. You see how immature this person is, right? So like, this person needs to grow up, and yes, they are. They're growing and they've become wiser. That life doesn't work like that. When you love, you love straight from the heart without expectations. Because then that's not love. That's not selfless love. The other one is, would be selfish. One would be selfish. Queen of arrows. But it's simply because this person did not recognize love. They did not know what it looks like. We have here the queen of arrows. So the queen of arrows does talk about this person not being brilliant, not being honest, and not having a lot of wisdom. So these are the issues that were occurring in their life. This is why things were a bit difficult. There was a lack of wisdom in matters of the heart. There was not a lot of self-knowledge. This person was not a good communicator either. Sharp words may have been spoken. Intentions may have been misinterpreted. Wow. There may have been psychological or emotional manipulation in this connection. Oh boy. Some of you may have gone through that, psychological and emo emotional manipulation. And it actually kind of goes well with this card, Seven of Coins. They gave you things um, thinking that you would be returning the favor in some way. Sometimes that's also under the category of manipulation. But keep in mind, guys, like I mentioned, this person is changing. 
They're trying their best and life is teaching them lessons. All right, I have here hmm, Archangel Answer Cards by Doreen Virtue. Just going to do a quick prayer. All right. We have two cards that popped out. We have listened to your own intuition and get more information. And then we have wait. As well as reconsider. It's up to you because you do have a choice. Because some of you don't want this relationship anymore. Some of you are tired. And for some of you, enough is enough. I see two choices here. There's two options, two choices. And we're ready. Under the bottom of the deck talks about communicate clearly. All right. So I have here, I'm getting two messages. And the situation, oh, I don't like it when these are out of alignment. Um, the situation is that some of you are okay with waiting. And some of you are sick and tired of waiting. Which means it's time to move on. So the first card here, and these messages are brought to you by Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. They are saying, listen to your own intuition, what your heart says, what your higher self says. Is it good for your future? So listen to your intuition. If you feel it's okay, then it's okay. Relationships and love should not be a struggle. They should not. They should fit like a very comfortable glove. That's exactly how it should be. If you have to struggle for it, it's not worth it. You'll find someone else. And they will be on the same vibrational level as you. They do want you to get more information about this person, about the issues that they're facing. And once you get this information, you will be able to make a better decision based on your own intuition. They do want you to wait. Don't rush into anything. Take your time. They want you and are suggesting that you reconsider any actions, any words that you are going to mention to this person. So they would like you to wait and they are suggesting to reconsider any plans that you had. All of this is up to you. This is where it splits. It's up to you if you want to continue with this, sure. If you don't, you are definitely still going to find someone. Within the next few weeks or months, you will feel that you are ready to communicate better with this individual. Now with the communication card, <clears throat> if you want to break it up with this person or if you want to continue with this person, communication still is there. So what I would recommend is when you're communicating, make sure, even though you may have been hurt, make sure you do not communicate in a way that is very mocking, do not taunt, do not speak indirectly, do not be sarcastic. Just talk directly and communicate clearly to this person. Let them know what you're comfortable with, what you're not comfortable with. Let them know your intentions. As well as hear them out, because by the time this comes through, you may literally be 
thinking on a different perspective about this connection. Your opinions were different before, but now they're going to change. And for those of you who are not comfortable with the situation anymore, reconsider what you are thinking and what your strategies are. Get more information. Listen to your intuition because it's up to you whether you want to move on or not. Because even after you move on, yes, within the next few weeks or months, you will be ready to move on to bigger and better things. So Cancer, these messages, these guidance cards right at the end have split in two different storylines. If you want to be with this person, wait it out and it'll work out. If you don't want to be, you can leave and you will still have something in the future. Someone rather. Okay guys, that is your reading cancer. Let me know in the comments below if it resonated for a few of you. And thank you once again for all of your support as well as encouragement. And I will see you guys again next month. All right then. Take care and stay safe. Bye now.